Celtics hosting the Jazz, and the Celtics are 14 and a half point favorites. The over-under is at 239. The Jazz are plus 730 on the money line, and the Celtics are minus 1150, and there's no surprise there with the Jazz being the Jazz and the Celtics being unbeaten at home. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. It's supposed to be Dunn, Sexton, Fontecchio, Markinen, and Collins, Holiday, White, Brown, Tatum, and Porzingis. Lineups have not been confirmed. I bitch about this in every NBA video, but you're going to have to wait in, you, until usually like an hour before or 40 minutes before for them to actually update the lineups unless someone like actually gets tweaked in an early morning practice or something like that. Head-to-head, -head, the home team's on a four-game winning streak. The home team is 6-4. and four. The Jazz are 7-3 and three against the Lakers in their last 10. The underdog has covered the last two games. The underdog is 6-4 and four against the spread. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The over is hitting their last four. The over is 6-4, and four, but the under 239 is 9-1. and one. They have not played each other yet this year, and most of the games that the Jazz won, the Jazz were the home team. So just keep that in mind. They did beat the Celtics once in Boston in that span, but most of the games that they won, they were the home team. The Jazz are 7-3 and three in that last 10, 7-3 and three against the spread, and the under is 5-4-1. and one. They're on a three-game winning streak. 217, 226, 217 points again, and then 200, oh, forgive me, 302 points. That's been their last four games. They lost by 7 to the Pelicans, beat the Heat by 12, oh, beat the Heat by 8, then crushed the... Mavericks by 37 and then went into overtime and beat the Pistons by six. And for the Celtics, they're eight and two in their last 10, six and four against the spread, and the over is eight and two in their last 10. They did lose the last game that they played to the Thunder in OKC. Now, there was a total of 250, 238, 235, and then 250 points again. They beat the Pistons by six, they beat the Raptors by two. They beat the Spurs by 13, and then they lost by four in OKC. It's not a matter of do I think the Celtics are going to win because the Celtics are home and the Celtics have proven that they don't lose at home yet. Someone is ultimately going to beat them. I just don't know if it's going to be a team that's going to get them after they had a day off. I'm going to take the Celtics with the money line. I will take the Jazz getting the points, and I'm going to go over in this one. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.